It is the 1st of November 2017, and that can mean only one thing. It is time for episode 31 of Boruto. Boruto and Kagura. And it's time to finish the fu- so, Hang on, not that one. It's time to finish the fight. And man, that's actually all that this episode was. Not that I complain, of course. I was very much pleased to see that. Uh, as we could tell from last week, really, this was basically going to be either the lead up to the finale or the finale. And it looks like that was indeed the finale. And you know, Boruto's fight with Kangara actually went a little quicker than I thought. I could kind of tell last week it was a little bit obvious that he wasn't going to be the big bad. He was going to, you know, remember playing Shinobi Bout and stuff with Boruto. So it wasn't really surprising that he was so easily defeated. But yeah, it passed pretty fast. Although the point was never really to have Boruto and Kagura fight earnestly. And honestly, this slide right here, this sums up exactly the meaning behind the Blood Mist arc. And I think I've mentioned it in quite a few episodes now, but honestly, I really did like the theme of, hey, those were different people, we are our own people. And of course, my boy Mitsuki turned up to really shake things up. So it turns out the scroll didn't actually have any secret ninja technique or whatever it was I was expecting. But instead it was just the explanation of the thing that Shizuma was up to and shady dealings or whatever. And man, talking about Shizuma, he completely went off the rails. He just completely embraced it, fully open about the fact he just wanted war, that he really liked death and destruction. And you know, I kind of really respect that. Because so often in anime, we get villains who very tangentially try to justify themselves of, oh, well, no, the world is just wrong. I'm the only person that knows how to do it or whatever. But Shizuma just, I don't know, put his hands up and was like, yep, yeah, I just want everyone to fight. And man, talking about fight, that was a fantastic bout between him, Boruto and Mitsuki. Animation was really superb. And just the fluidity of everything, the whole Mitsuki and Boruto working in unison and stuff. I don't know, I really, really enjoyed it. Kudos. I mean, I've said a few times now that there have been some really well animated fights, and there have. But this, I think, possibly takes the top prize for the moment, because, you know, it was two or three minutes, and everything kept moving. There was no stop. They didn't take a minute to explain to each other what they were doing. They just kind of went ahead with it. Honestly, without even talking to each other, which is really cool, especially for shounen anime. It was, of course, also pretty darn cool to see some more Samehada. I really loved Kisame's relationship with Samehada throughout the anime, so seeing his son kind of pick it up, but maybe not quite control it as well, was really cool too. And man, Shark Shizuma, or whatever people are going to call him, I'm going to call him Shark Shizuma, looked really cool. It's actually a shame they didn't fight him for very long. In fact, he's probably on screen for less than a minute, which is a little bit disappointing, as I genuinely would have loved that to happen for, like, half an episode, because he seemed really aggressive and fast and stuff, and that would have made for a really interesting fight scene. We did, at the very least, get to see Boruto and Kagura share the spirit sword that, uh, that Trunks managed to summon in Dragon Ball Su Oh, wrong anime. Although, real talk, there was actually a pretty cool ending, and it answered the question that I brought up several episodes ago, which is, why does Kagura's sword have two handles? Well, the answer is, actually, it's two swords. Although, I imagine the real reason it's two swords is that the one wielder is meant to wield one in each hand, rather than share it with a friend. It's kind of like the Kit Kat of swords in that way. And that was actually kind of the end of the episode. It wrapped up really fast because, well, they did need to get back for 9pm. Of course, next week is going to be when it wraps up. I'm talking about next week. It's time to discuss NEXT TIME! Where it looks like Himawari is upset, and I cannot abide by that. Himawari's smile must be protected. And that about wraps it up for my review of episode 31 of Boruto. As always, thank you very much for sticking around this long. If you did enjoy, maybe consider giving a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you didn't enjoy. And as always, if you do want notifications of when I put a review up for next week's episode, then subscribing is probably the best idea. And of course, if you do have anything to share, uh, do feel free to leave me a comment. And until next time, goodbye.